What's up, Libra? How's it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, first card out. The Sun. Nice. Ten of Wands. Guys, not going to resonate for every single Libra out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. So if it doesn't resonate, make sure you also check out your your other signs, specifically your moon and Venus, as they may resonate better for you in a love reading than your sun sign. If you need a personal reading, feel free to hit me up. Everything you need to know to get a hold of me is in the description box to the video. All right, here we go, guys. So you yourself are coming in this week in the sun, ten of wands energy. Um, so you're releasing a lot, a lot of heaviness, a lot that's been weighing you down, draining the fuck out of you, and you're finding your happiness. Like, there's a huge release here. You know, it could be ending a relationship, a behavior pattern, a mindset, whatever, but you're getting to a place where things are going to get easier, lighter, more clear, you know? All right, let's see what this is. What is the sun here for Libra? Look at this. It's right on top of the sun card in this other deck that I have here. Pretty cool. What is the sun energy for Libra? The Three of Cups. Celebration, guys. So, um, can be a reunion, can be an engagement, can just be getting out, being more social, um, meeting people through friends and family, partying, you know. It could be that you had like a lot of responsibilities in your life and you didn't really have the time or energy to get out there and meet new people as far as like romantically or whatever. And maybe now things are getting easier and you have more time and energy to do that. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Libra? The Five of Wands. There's Yeah, there's some drama. There was some drama, some competition, some jealousy, people being pissed, and it was just too much. So it's like the drama was just too heavy. You had to let it go. You had to kind of just like disengage like this is not mine to carry and it's about you know practicing healthy boundaries chariot cancer um, could have been drama with a cancer could have been some heavy shit there with a cancer um, could have been with your living situation maybe there was some issues with your with your home life even like with your car maybe there was like car issues could have been that a lot in your life required your attention and just drained you and you didn't have time for your love life or whatever but that's changing and you're moving forward all right like you could literally be moving like moving to a different house traveling getting a new car something like that um recent past you have the three of swords your own energy obviously this is some kind of heartbreak some kind of a betrayal here in your recent past why is the three of swords here for libra Ace of Swords. Um, some truth came out. Some, it's like a, a realization. But it definitely like opened your eyes. It was definitely like an epiphany here. It probably didn't feel the greatest, but um, there's like cat hair driving me nuts right now. Um, but it opened your eyes, you know? Now here in the present, you got the magician. And this can be for you as a person you're dealing with, your circumstances, whatever. This is like, this whole setup right now is kind of tripping me out. Like we have the sun on top of the sun. We have a mercury and I have mercury up there. I don't even know why I grabbed it today and put it there, but here we have it again. So cool. Um, Anyway, with the magician, this is manifesting, obviously. What is it that you're manifesting right now? The moon, Pisces, could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be just like keeping it like hidden, like 
not really telling anybody what is it what it is that you're doing what it is that you're trying to get right now trying to manifest in your life and it could be that it you could have manifested something or someone and they haven't surfaced yet you know like they haven't like revealed themselves to you shown up in your life whatever King of Swords, that's your own energy, as well as Gemini and Aquarius, but it's being very logic-minded, very head over heart, very no bullshit. Like, you've got the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. Like, there's so much honesty here. There's so much, like, matter-of-fact type of energy, cutting out anything in your life that is not clear to you, that is foggy, that just kind of stresses you out, that you feel like you have to figure out. You know what I mean? Very good for communication, though. You could be connecting with somebody where you guys have a very, like, intellectual kind of a connection. You communicate well. You could be connecting with somebody who is, um, like, more mature, as in, like, the way they talk. Real grown up. Real good with words, writing, public speaking, or, you know, maybe that's you. The Three of Coins. Could be meeting somebody through work. Or through some kind of a talent that you have but it's definitely there's there's an energy here something that you can build on now your potential obstacle is the high priestess reverse so there's definitely um, a problem with listening to your intuition paying attention to your intuition um, paying attention to signs synchronicities with whatever this connection is here for you or whatever's coming in for you you could be dealing with a female um, who is like secretive, maybe doing some bullshit. Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, there could be like a jealous female or, you know, just somebody in that energy um, that might be doing some shit, might be um, being dishonest. Um, very cold, very detached, and kind of manipulative, but it's not, it's kind of from a place of jealousy, okay? Um, now you have the Queen of Swords up right here in your future. So now we have the King and Queen of Swords in here. So you have a divine counterpart in your midst, whether you're outwardly dealing with them right now or not, they do exist around you. Um, somebody who's your equal, somebody who talks the way you talk, they're on the same intelligence level as you. You know, they're definitely no bullshit. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Libra? The Magician reversed. Yeah, you have a manipulator in your midst. <laughs> somebody who's jealous, somebody's very cold and detached by nature, but it's like they're being manipulative because they just have to win. It's not about actual feelings. It's just about being jealous, being kind of narcissistic and needing to win. So they're going to do it, you know, however they fucking want to do it. Um, but you're going to see through it. You're going to see through it and just stop it, you know. Hold on real quick, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's check in and see what's up with this manipulator. I will pull your energy with the different signs as well, guys. Yeah, conflict, trash talking. Um, somebody's pissed and being manipulative. Ten of swords. But it's ending. It's like, it's like you recognize it, you see it, and you're going to cut it out. Somebody's really just like pissed because they didn't get what they want or you know it's it doesn't have anything to do with actual love actual feelings it's just the kind of energy that's really fucking narcissistic and has to get what they want um but there's it's going to result in an ending an ending of the drama the bullshit the manipulation you know your advice here is the eight of wands this is about going after what you want shooting your shot <coughs> moving quickly on something um a lot of communication can be online i mean i think everything is so it's whatever but can also be travel 
ace of coins moving towards something that's stable that's long term that's committed it's a new beginning but it's one that kind of takes off really fast like um it's kind of the energy that you would not expect to be long term because it's real sexual um you know a lot happening real fast a lot of passion a lot of just like going for it but it actually is something that can be long term and it's also, you know, directing your attention towards that which is stable and commitment-minded at least. Four of Swords, you got some healing to do still. Yeah, and the wheel. So this is like your path is being cleared. So you you kind of just need to take a time out, um, focus on self-care, focus on healing, because when this takes off, it's taking off. Like the universe is helping you turn things around. This is really going for it, but it's going for it. And it's something that's meant to be long-term and stable. So you want to make sure that you're ready when it shows up for you. You know, when you go after it, you want to make sure that you're actually ready to do the thing. Um, so make sure you're taking care of yourself, healing what needs to be healed because it's coming fast and you want to be ready for it, you know? All right, let's get you some oracles. What does Libra need to hear this week? soulmate yes this is your soulmate well we know we have one here but you know we have a ton so it's you know it's whatever let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others well we have that three of cups so definitely socializing being around friends um and we have the four of swords so you know if you've got all this shit that you're carrying and it's it's causing you to be drained see if you can delegate some of your responsibilities to some friends or family or something all right, so this particular oracle here is like if you have somebody in mind that maybe you guys aren't currently in communication or maybe you are and they just aren't the kind of person to tell you how they feel. So this is what they would say to you if they could. Whoever's on your mind, whoever you're, you know, wondering about, they have any message for you. Think about that person. All right, here we go. What does this person have to say to Libra? What does this person have to say to Libra? I love you. Oh my gosh, that's a fucking heavy one, isn't it, Libra? Let's get another one. You speak to me through music. Um, okay, let's expand. All right, what is this I love you? Who is saying I love you? Who is this, Libra? Queen of Wands, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody who's very attractive, um, somebody who's very goal-driven, potentially like a business owner, potentially somebody who's into magic. Um, it's real witchy, it's real confident, real attractive, um, very energetic. All right, let's check on this. You speak to me through music. Who is saying this to you? Mm, somebody who has not gotten over something that happened in the past with you. They have regret. They have guilt. They're still stuck in a sad place over something that they potentially did to you that they feel bad over. Ace of Cups reverse. They might have turned you down. Um, they might have just been emotionally unavailable and they have regret over it. All right, let's get you with the different signs. So majors you have here so far. Let's see. Um, Cancer. Cancer is the only one so far. All right, guys, let's do it. Libra dealing with Aries. So new communication coming in from an Aries, a new expression of feelings, like a date, like a new opportunity, you know. Libra dealing with Taurus. They are not very trustworthy currently. They're not very commitment-minded and they're not stable. 
Libra and Gemini, they're gonna start to be more emotionally open. Libra and Cancer, they have not given up on you yet, whether you know it or not. Libra and Leo. So you could have a Leo X or somebody that you just walked away from or they walked away from you trying to come back. Libra Virgo, drama. You've got some drama, some competition, some jealousy there. It's just petty arguments. Libra and Libra, the Hierophant. So this is somebody who's very traditional. They are looking for like an actual marriage. You guys might have similar um, cultural, religious beliefs, whatever, but they're definitely looking for an actual marriage, a conventional type of a relationship. Libra Scorpio. Um, now that looks to be just sex-based or there's absolutely no attraction whatsoever. <laughs> Libra Sagittarius. Long-term commitment. That's definitely something that's possible with them. Libra and Capricorn. So this is a soulmate of yours, except it's disconnected. So this would be like an ex or somebody that you're just, there's a disconnect right now. Libra and Aquarius. Oh, that, may, that might be an Aquarius that like regrets some shit that they did to you because they're still sad. They're still stuck in a sad place over something that happened in the past that they can't change now. Libra Pisces. So they are looking for long-term commitment. They'd like to start something new with you, um, looking towards, you know, something permanent. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Take care.